Brick fans, start your engines! Daytona International Speedway has a cool new look at Legoland Florida Resort. It's the newest model in Miniland USA, the land of Lego landmarks from across the United States. I'm Grace, here with another awesome update for Legoland Florida Resort TV. The sounds of roaring engines and cheering fans fill the air as guests approach the giant new model, which is the Lego version of the world's first motorsports stadium and is made out of nearly 300,000 Lego bricks. The 31-foot long stadium is now the single largest model in Miniland USA. To help us celebrate, NASCAR driver Casey Mears visited the theme park for a special race dubbed the Miniland 400. Casey's competitor was 10-year-old Layla Popoff of Orlando, Florida, representing Make-A-Wish Central in Northern Florida. The two racers faced off in kid-sized cars you may recognize from our driving school attraction. How cool was it to compete in your first race in a Lego car? It was awesome. It was awesome, and I really enjoyed getting to race against Layla. She's a sweetheart, and uh, up front she's a sweetheart, but she's a down, downright competitor, that's for sure. She told me right out of the gate that she was going to win this thing, and she did, so that was pretty crazy. After taking off from between Lego models of the Statue of Liberty and the U.S. Capitol, Layla and Casey quickly reached a top speed of nearly four miles per hour in the electric vehicles. Neck and neck, they zoomed past the New York City skyline, remaining close as they barreled down the Las Vegas Strip. With the finish line in sight, Casey suddenly plowed into a pile of giant Lego bricks, while Layla raced ahead to claim victory. Her prize, a giant Lego trophy accepted with a triumphant smile. How did you manage to beat a real NASCAR driver? Well, I used my skills and I tried to swerve him off. Afterward, the friendly competitors headed to the theme park's new Imagination Zone. Let me tell you, this place is what your Lego dreams are made of. It's filled with hands-on Lego building activities where kids can put their imaginations into overdrive. Since Casey is a racing expert, even if he did get beat by a 10-year-old, he gave several young fans great tips for building creative Lego vehicles to race down timed ramps in the new wheel zone. I wonder who had more fun, Casey or the kids? Casey's fans can watch him in the Coke Zero 400, powered by Coca-Cola at the real Daytona International Speedway. There's so much more to explore here, so I've got to go. But be sure to stay tuned for my next update from the place built for kids. Reporting from the Miniland 400 for Legoland Florida Resort TV, I'm Grace.